Hello. Hi. I'm Alicia. Marissa. And this was a podcast formerly known as Book and Snips. <laughs> now we don't know who we are anymore. I mean, we're, we're millennials trying to figure things out. Changing shit all the time. Yeah. So, we're going to talk to you about stuff that interests us and uh, a lot of knitting because we did go on yarn crawl and we are still knitters. And we've been doing that regardless whether we've talked about it on the podcast or not. Yeah. Um, social media wise, I'm Social Slob. I'm ATX Alice. It's on Instagram. Yeah. Find me if you want. If not, that's fine too. I'm not going to force you to do what you don't want to do. Yeah. I'm covered in yarn. And Ugo's here with us. Um, not in spirit. He's just He's under legit. the blanket. <laughs> it's like looking at my downstairs mix up. <laughs> Like, dog. <laughs> it looks like I'm looking at my crotch. I'm really not. I'm just looking at my sweet poppers, who mm-hmm. happens to be nestled in the crook of my crotch. He's a snuggler. We're such winners, I know. I feel like I feel like this is going pretty well. It's anyway, been a while. It's it's been a while. I, don't I think know. it's been a year. I think our last one was last year in crawl. Was it? I think so. We should look up and find out. Yeah. Um, anyway, so it's yarn crawl again. This is the last weekend of Yarn Crawl. We just came back from uh, Hill Country Weavers, which is our local yarn store. Turned in our passport. Turned in our passport. So technically we are done. We're done. Are we going out tomorrow? I am. Well, you're going out, but not for yarn. ACL. She's going to ACL. I'm doing things outside of... You are. You are doing the things... Me? I'm going to be home all day tomorrow. You work... But you work so hard and you're so drained by social interaction with children who are just like not there yet yeah and they're not ready they're really not anyway but yeah we're still we've been here hit us up hit us up yeah so do you want to get into it sure we yeah i want to say get into the knitting because it's actually not knitting so we thought we'd show you what we got during yarn crawl because we can because we can and um some people have requested that some people have requested I'm looking at you all, Nick. Hey, girl. <laughs> she's a hand dyer. She's a yarn trucker. And she also works at another local yarn store of ours called Gage. And we love her. She's great. Love that store. We love Gage. We want a lot of Gage. Anyway, so we're just going to take you through uh, what yarn crawl looked like for us day by day. We mainly do it on the weekend. This was the first. Because, because we work. We work full time. I started a new job that week, too. You did start it? That was no, my first week. It yeah. wasn't. Yeah. You're right. It was the first This week. is my first full week of the job. You've been doing this. I feel like you've been there. No- <laughs> she's been there two weeks now. I feel like Ten been- days. Ten days. I feel like she's been there a month. It's crazy. Everyone acts like I've been there a month. They're just like, do this. Do this. But yeah, cool. but you're 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 kicking ass and taking names. Is that what it is? I came name? to win. Yeah, you did. I was going you're to You're such lead. a winner. <laughs> and Batman. <laughs> so it started last Friday, October fifth. Yes. And I took the day off and Marissa took the day off, but Marissa went to ACL. Guys. Paul McCartney. <laughs> yeah, you went to go see Paul uh, McCartney and Hosier. Oh, Hosier. Oh. And, oh. and no name and Khalid. Khalid? 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 Or Khalid. Khalid. I think, it was I think I don't know. Beautiful. But I saw the video. <laughs> and I'm just like, it's on my Instagram under ACL. You can check out my stories. Yeah, yeah, it looked great. It looked very great. Except there was so much talking in the background. That's two for, for Hozier, everyone was so rude. Like, you could tell people who were not there for the show. And I was just livid. And I was just like, you know what? So I do my normal thing and I finagle to the front of the crowd. Cause you're like I'm here for you, boo boo. You can tell the you can tell the actual people who know his songs versus people who are just like, well, that sounds cool. Yeah. Anyway, it happens a lot at ACL. Um, you have the people from out of time. We love we love people from out of town. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't you lie to us. We <laughs> we love people who come to visit, but we're like. Please know how to cross the street. Please know how to drive in Texas. Act please, right or please leave. understand that we are southern. And we have We're our southern s- manners, and we have weird laws saying like you can't light up a cigarette without Please ask me without asking people. It's like it's like one of those unspoken niceties, and I don't know if that's everywhere or if it's just here, 
but of our experiences, like you, you ask permission before you decide to light up Please. a cigarette or any light up anything. or any light up or any kind of recreational thing. Someone brought a butane lighter to light up, not cigarettes. He literally like me. I had a little bit of a heat episode where it was just like I was. Over, it, is I, hot. it is. It's still. It, it was like nineties. It was high 90s i think it reached 100 that day and that's cool that's for us. cool for us for acl but i was not ready because it's been a while since i've done outdoor activities and i overheat very easily um for being from here my parents are from the north though so that might be why i don't know i actually don't know about that but uh so my friend that at alicia i think she's she has that we need to bring her on here oh, we do yeah that'd be great um she sat me down. I sat down at a, a nice shaded rocky outcropping. If you've been to Zilker, you probably know which one it is. Um, and then, like, me and this lady, just chilling, not talking to each other. Friend brought me a drink and went off to another thing. And then this guy just sits down. He was not there with us. We were both enjoying, like, the quiet. Our, our quiet, our icy beverages. Everyone in that area is real calm. Because there's no actual stage. There's no right. stage. Well, there, you're like in the middle of the stages, but you're you're hearing multiple performers going mm-hmm. on. Um, so yeah, um, but then this guy who just like all of a sudden just plops down out of nowhere, pulls out his butane lighter. And me and this lady are like looking at each other, like, "What is he doing? What is he doing?" No, and he pulls out this giant blunt. And just lights it, smokes it. This is the point when Alicia finally comes back. Not her. Me. No, the other Alicia comes back from her last show. It's just like she looked at both of us. She's like, "Did he ask or anything?" And we we're like, Alicia was just like, "You want to go sit over there in that grass?" I was like, "Yes." I'm sorry. And we really don't care. I don't care. Because ACL and but it's ask. kind of, but you, it's just polite. Yeah, sorry. It's just like, because you don't know people's, like, stance on it. You don't know. Exactly. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. Better and that's the smell. It's awful. I'm just sensitive to it because of the smell, and, like, I don't like smoke. It's awful. But then, I feel like I already have a pretty raspy voice. I agree with this. Not with your raspy voice, just in general. Raspiness. Yeah. But, like, also... People were just lighting up cigarettes in the epicenter of the music. Like, you were in a concert listening, and people were just lighting up legit cigarettes to smoke and sway with. It's just like, it's like you, there's people around you. Do you not it's understand so secondhand smoke is a thing, even if we are outside? Yeah, it's so polite. You can tell people from... Texas, because, like, legit, we were in, like, the college concert. Or people who are just, like, or polite. Or polite human beings. They're just like, do you mind if I smoke? We're like, really would appreciate it if you didn't. And they would move down. It's great. So, listen, folks. If you're going to be in, like, an outdoor venue, it's still polite to ask. Ask. Ask your neighbors. Because they're the ones that have to Because even if they're like, no, I really don't care, they're like, cool, at least you did the, you did your due diligence. You and you're going to feel people. good about it. And yes. they're going to feel great about it. Yes. And you're going to talk about it. Because it was like, this bro, awesome, asked yeah. before. Yeah. But yeah, so that was Marissa's ACL experience. And I took the day off from work, first off, because I deserve it. You all, yes. <sighs> this year's been hard. You only, the first six weeks ended the last week. The first six weeks ended last week. So, so. like, the six weeks, the first six weeks ended on Monday, like the first of October Monday. Sometime in October, Monday, and, and then I took that. The first and then I took that Friday off, and I put it in like week in August, just so I knew I would get it approved. Because people, people at work like to be a little shady. They like to like, like, oh, I'm feeling sick, like the Thursday before, and then they put it in, and I was like, y'all know, because you're gonna get denied, or you won't get a sub in time, and it's gonna be teachers covering other teachers' classes, and we get annoyed when people take our preps. Some people don't care. Some people are like, no, it's fine. I'll do it. And other people be like, this is not my job. Not my job. But who's going to watch the kids? So, so just think about things. Anyway, so I took that Friday. <laughs> You're not bitter. I'm not bitter at all. 
Anyway, so I took that Friday off, and I deserved it, and I crawled by myself. First time. First time. Which I really enjoy driving my car by myself, because I just listen to my music. And I asked um, on Instagram, like, what's your favorite, like, cozy knitting music? And everyone gave me these, like, great artists, so I made a huge old playlist, and I just put it on. It's very cozy. It's so cozy. We listen to it on our, on my second day, her third day. Your Sick. first day. No. We did that too. But we also did, we, we listened to it for the whole crawl. The time we crawled. That's right, we did. Because it's just chill. It's chill. It's very yeah. relaxing. There's a bunch of great artists. If you're interested, just hit me up and I'll share it to you. It's great. I like it. Um, so I crawled by myself and I went to the local stores because I didn't want to know. I didn't know if I was going to go far my first day. Um, so I went to Gage first. And that was a nightmare getting down to North Austin because ACL traffic. It's crazy. People go insane. People go insane. I'm like, it's not that major. It's not. And it's the people from out of town because they don't know any better. It's so like, y'all, you don't have to. You don't have to live like this. <laughs> you don't. Because I would. It usually takes me like thirty, maybe forty minutes to get down there. It took me an hour. Because we live on. Because we very live. We live on the. At very end of Austin, like we're almost in the next town, Buda. Uh, but like it took me an hour and a half to get from my house to Gage, and it was like ridiculous. And I even, I still had time, I had plenty of time because I wanted to hit there first and be the first one in there. Don't know why, but I had to. That's just how you are. Exactly. <laughs> if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna be extra. But yeah, so I hit that up. Uh, got there first, got stamped, got my patterns. They have really cute patterns. I saw them do it to coffee table. Uh, we're not going to show I'm not going to show it to you. Um, that's effort that I'm, yeah. I have a bit of a cold. But there. they had, uh, so the, every, they have a promotion yarn. Right? I, think so, I, I think everyone knows how yarn Everyone. Goes. I hope so. I don't know if it's the same at everyone's. You anyway, don't know I don't know. So our yarn crawl is you get a passport, which is a slip of paper, you get stamped at each store, and you get a free pattern, like free two free patterns. Generally, yeah. Generally, yeah. And you get um, a store button to put on your bag. I'll and as you, you fill this passport, as you fill this passport, you're pretty much signing up as, uh, um, like, during the store, like, daily draw. Yeah, there's well. a daily, like, door prize, and they'll contact you if you win at the end of the day and stuff. It's really, it's really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And I never win And they have, like, and they have, like, side. trunk shows. And uh, the and like special like people come in. That's nice. I like it. Yeah. Some people have and some stores have snacks. And the, like Gage is, Gage has a theme every year. Um, this year I don't remember was, last year. I think last year was spa. No, that was the year, that was like our first year on Crawl was spa. That was our first one. That, that was, was Quince and really Co. Nice. Sparrow. Yeah, that yeah, was our first nice. year. But yeah, so. We had a really great time. I went there and I got. Sorry, I'm reaching. Okay. And they had a signature color dyed from uh, Dreaming Color, and it the yarn itself, the base was a classy with cashmere. And this is coffee in Tucson. Look how pretty! I like it. I like it a lot because it's like that mauve, mauve, with speckles. I do like it. I like it so much. It's so pretty. And there's like blue. I was gonna say bluey, but Marissa would beat me. She hates that when you put it e. Bluish is a word. Bluish, yeah. Bluey, not. Don't cute see it. I can't handle it. I just want to say bluey all the time. Oh, and I'm the sweet. English teacher, and she just like tempts me so hard. It burns. Anyway, it's gorgeous. I love it. I bought. I bought a lot. I bought six skeins. Don't judge me. I got, I'm on my teacher salary, but here's the thing. I did a lot of work over the summer um, doing a teacher induction program for like new hires and stuff. So I got all this extra money right at that point. And I was like, mm. yarn crawl, yarn crawl. And literally I, I took on this thing for yarn crawl, that, that thing in the summer for yarn crawl money. So I bought that because we came to win. So yeah, so I bought a sweater's quantity of that. 
and I hit it and quit it. I was out in 10 minutes because I knew what color I already, I knew what color I wanted. I knew what, I kind of had an idea of like, it was going to be a worsted weight because they had done fingering and last year was like a DK, I think. And it's this year, I think. You're asking me about things I, I don't remember. I don't, Life has been... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And then I went to... Hill Country. Hill Country. I next. didn't even go. And she Literally, it no. took me 15 minutes to get from Gage to Hill Country. That is what it's like. I was so angry. Oh, it took me an hour and a half to get down there. I'm just going to move on with my life. And so... You need to. It's over now. It's over now. It's fine. Anyway, so I, we went, I went to Hill Country, and their promotion arm was Peary. From well, Brooklyn Tweed, Peary, and Arbor. No, it was just Peary. Just Peary? That's right. Yeah. Everyone, Everyone only had one, one, yard. one yard. It's confusing, because usually they need to... But you know what? This I year remember. was the one, one thing which I was happier about, because then you uh, have less things you have to worry about. Because usually they do two yarns at two different weights. And you kind of want to pre-plan things as much as you can. But you can't because you don't know what it is. What? You need to hurry. I'm trying. <laughs> Alicia, but you spent so much time talking about one thing. Anyway, so I got Peary. Mm -hmm. And I got all those colors with Peary. Can we look at the colors or no? No, we can add a list. Okay, I'll take a photo. There yeah. you go. This is a bad idea. That is, that this is. This is a bad idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You are the one. I forgot about you in this. You spend so much time organizing that you spend so much time describing. I'm doing my best. We haven't done this in a while. <coughs> anyway, after that, I went to the Sated Sheep, and their promotion arm was nice and knit decay. Great. Which is so pretty. I really appreciate the hand dye. I and really, the, everyone, everyone did really well. Like, in terms of, like, the The stores we went to. The stores that we, we went to. We don't know about to. the others. Yeah. They don't like to share. Yeah. We're not going to talk about that. Yeah. Anyway, so I got a nice and knit decay, and this is apricot. Apparently, it's a custom speckle apricot. I don't understand how it's apricot. Me either. It's blue. It's blue. There is some apricot speckles. But I don't see these as apricot. I see these as like peach. Pink. It's not apricot. It's not. Apricot is orange. Yeah. Unless, well, there's this I, one. There's just one little flag. It's okay. You know what? Everyone has a different thing. And then I got a skein of bisque. That looks like a bisque. It, I don't know. Probably. Cream soup, basically. Yeah. Yeah. It's a creamy soup, Beefy does. When I went to Jason's Deli, I was so annoyed at the bisque that they gave me. It was it not creamy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, Alicia, Alicia, our friend Alicia was like, was like, ooh, it's good. And I was eating, I was like, this is not good. Oh, if you say it's bisque, I expect if, to feel the fat it's content. It's a bisque, I expect. It was soup. It was just the soup. Just soup. Just soup. We should have bought soup because I'm a little ill. You have allergies. It's okay. I don't know because anyway. I keep sneezing and I feel like I only sneeze when I have an I have, like legit cold. Anyway. Uh, and then I went to ply. And Ply had Swan's Island Sterling. Which is amazing. Which is amazing. Our light's acting a little funny. Our light's weird. That's why this half is of like... me is cast in shadow. Eh, it's much lighter. It's lighter than that. It's lighter with more yellow. We yeah. can add better picks later. Yeah. But anyway, so this is the Jade colorway. I got five skeins of this. Sweater. I'm making a sweater. Texas sweater. Because it doesn't really get that. Yeah, I think I'm going to make a cardigan. Me too. Yeah, because I have a lot of pullovers. Yeah, you do. I have so many pullovers. I have a lot of sweaters. All right, Jimmy. But no cardigans. 
I have one card. Anyway, and then I went to New Braunfels, and there's a, their store is uh, Lucky You. They moved. They moved into like a beautiful like house situation, and it's adorable, and I love it. Um, and I bought their their house yarn. They have a house line, and it's called the Wool Tree. This was at the promo yarn. This is not the promo yarn. The promo yarn was um, a Malabrigo, which is beautiful, but I have a lot. I, we, have we have a lot. lot. A couple years ago, that was the main yard. Everyone had Malabrigo. Everyone had Malabrigo. Malabrigo. That was rough. That was rough. <laughs> it was good. It like, was great. Highly affordable. Yeah. Mostly. These Mostly are... it's sometimes the same as hand dyed. It is hand dyed. Kettle. Okay. In like Peru or something. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so this, so these are naturally dyed. These are both dyed with logwood. So it's the same thing. Right? But that's that's gray. It's obviously gray. And then this is navy. Um, that's, it's gray. It's navy. It's navy. It looks almost black. It looks almost black. It's so pretty. I bought this from my mama. She doesn't knit. But I'm going to knit her something one day. Alright. And that was my first day of yarn crawl. That was my first day. And then on Saturday, Marissa joined me, and everyone, see, I, we usually crawl together, right? So every, when I went into a store by myself, they're like, where's your friend, bud? And I was like, she went to ACL. And they're like, and I was like, yes. And they're like, she must make amends to the knitting gods. And I was like, I know. It's ridiculous. And then I had to make decisions by myself. Which I did fine. Because I had projects pre-planned. But. And I already have a preset color palette. But. It's just not my thing. I did enjoy having complete freedom over music. I did enjoy that. Because I don't change the song every 20 seconds. So Saturday, Marissa joined me. And it went, we had to do the same stores over again. <laughs> we went to Knitting Cup and... We did go to Georgetown. We did go to Georgetown on Saturday, which they had a wonderful junk show. We went to a sheep at the wheel. A sheep at the wheel stop. was our first stop. I'm sorry. And I bought two skeins of Dreaming Color Schmooshy with Cashmere in the Guthrie Peak. I don't know what reference that is, but it's great. I have no idea. That is so good. Again, it's moth. Which will go really good with this. Ow. Sorry. You just like hammered in. Anyway. So that was hers. Your first your first shot of the day. And then she bit the wheel. There's two wheels. You bought two of them. I right? bought two skins, yeah. Yeah. And then make a shawl. Mm -hmm. I need it later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't mean to be awkward. I just I need it later. Uh, I didn't buy anything from Machine Control. They have great yarn, but I just they have a lot of Texas dyed. They have a lot, oh yeah, they have a whole Texas dyed section, which I really appreciate. Really great. They did have a trunk show. They did. It was Nodi. Okay, Nodi. Uh, the beautiful yarn does not appeal to my color sense or mine because it's. High on the primary list. It's so bright. It's very bright. Very strong colors. And as you'll see here, um, my color palette leans a little bit different. Or mustard. <laughs> no shame in my game. It's like glittered in with a mustard. Mustard. Anyway, so first up, uh, I bought, was that, what was that? So my first purchase of Yarn Crawl was... Uh, U2 yarn, which is great. This is uh, fingering in the mellow base. Are there mellow is base? Is this a mellow base? This is a mellow base. Oh, yeah, it is. It says it. Sith mellow. I was wondering where it said it. Uh, and it's 100% merino superwash. Well, I bought two skeins of this. I don't know the colorway. It doesn't I don't matter. think she names colorways. Um, but... Uh, basically, she sources her stuff 
all very eco friendly. So all of her yarn is eco friendly. And the dyes are more eco. And the dyes are also eco friendly, I believe. Um, I don't know what type of dye she uses. I don't think she uses a like natural dye. So just FYI there. Um, it doesn't say here. So go cool. She has an Instagram account. Yes. So she does truck shows. I don't think she says a lot online. But apparently you can just hit her up on Instagram. Um, and we can link that somewhere. Yeah. We'll put it in hopefully in the notes. Who's making those notes though? Uh-huh. We'll get there one day, guys. One of us will make this. If up. you need it, if you have a question, just comment below. Yeah. Okay. Let me think about a thing. Is that all you bought from there? You bought two skeins of that? Yeah. Okay. I was started out very kind of conservative. She was very conservative. Actually, I was really conservative. You were very conservative. Me? I went insane. <laughs> because I'm buying, what is it? What was the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I'm buying my feelings. I guess. Uh, and then, Hill Country was next? Oh, that's you. Sorry, you need to go next. I buy yarn from the trunk show, too. Same person, same dyer. All of it. <laughs> it was just so economically priced. And she has, like, these, she's very clever. The color palette is definitely more of our alley. It's soft. It's just I bought these colors. three to go together. Because they're pretty we, matchy. We'll get that picture. Because yeah. like most of these are these are picking up really well. This one's not quite. This one's not quite. It's like a green. Yeah. It's like I think sage green with specks of brown. And blue and it's so pretty. It's very pretty. And then these are pretty Those are pretty accurate. Yeah. Yeah, those are really accurate. Yeah. And then um, I got mohair because she puts it in everything now don't know why not everything pretty much <laughs> i just want a lot of things and i just like fuzzy things everything you know my dog's not fuzzy yeah he is no he's pretty not he's pretty sleek he's smooth <laughs> he's a smooth boy apparently <laughs> and then um this which i think is brilliant these are five mini skeins yes Five mini skeins, 20 grams each. Skeined up as one little skein. And I love it because it's so chubby and pretty. But yeah, that's what I bought from Knitting Cup. Yep. And their yarn was Mercado. Yeah, their yarn was Mercado. They always do really good yarn. This year was chunky. I don't know what chunky. It hurts my hands. You love a chunky yeah. hands. Look at these little sausages. Look at them. See me, see me? You're, You're done hands. Your nails see me, see are so long. Do I look attractive though? I don't know. I don't either. Look at these but giant hands. That's what you're into, I guess. See me with them hands. They're chubby. Baby hands. Look at these sausages. Oh my god. Anyway, that's gonna be our screenshot. Thick fingers. <laughs> Why is this finger crooked? Anyway. <laughs> uh, then next up was Hill Country. Hill Country. Hill Country. So Hill Country. One of my favorite dyers is Yarn Incredible. She is amazing. She has a great color palette. It speaks to me on levels. And she has all the bases. All of it. She all got it. you. She has me for everything. So I bought... And we love her and her family. They're amazing. They're amazing. We run into them around town. It's my favorite. Yeah, because they're actually local, local. Yeah. Like, they live, I think, maybe on the outskirts. I think they live in Austin or on the outskirts of Austin. Not 100% sure. Anyway, so I got... Obviously, this is all in yak because I have issues with her yak face. It's the best. I, it's, so it's my favorite. It's so good. Um, she meant to Tetam's Caster. I can't say this word. Number one, it's kind of smoochy, um, on here. But yak attack, favorite base. Look at that. I'll add pictures because this is the light is not doing That's it. That's good. That's okay. It's still not the best. The light is still not doing it justice, but I will add a written out name so you, if you want, you know. And then um, also beeswax, which is mustard. Mustard. This is a theme with me. Um, that's pretty accurate. Maybe it's a little bit greener. Yeah. Yeah. And then I also got Prairie because somebody. Peary. Peary. 
What did I say? Query. Yeah, no. Query. And just why that's like, the Muslim. The Muslim color, yeah. Because we missed that when I was there. We, the- you, we were there alone. It was like I was in a haze and I got out because we pre- cause like we had an idea of what it could be. We did. Just because we'll talk about that later. We're weird. Anyway. So from that tra- from the Iron Carmel Trunk show, I bought this, and this is oh you cannot even see you it. can't even it's it is the darkest blue it, it, yeah it's, it's the darkest it's tealy the, blue it's it's not even teal Marissa is this blue it's called Tide so it should be blue it's not showing up oh like, maybe maybe barely not even I'm no put this in front of your face because that's what the light is oh uh, I can't I can't even Marissa. Oh, nope, nope, nope. No, can't even. We tried. We tried. It's dark. It's dark. Blue. Dark blue. So good though. Yes, I want a sweater in this. Me too. But I only picked up the one skein. Yeah, it's so good. We, tr- we, I tr- This is when I was still holding back. I was still trying. I was just like, you know what? You did so good. <laughs> you did so good. And then we went because we went. That was at Hill Country. Oh, we skipped. We went to Gage next. We went to Gage first that day. No, we just. Yeah, we did. No. Yeah. No, we didn't go there first. Wait, no, no. We went to. We went to Sheep at the Wheel, Linen Cup, Gage, Hill Country. We skipped Hill Country. So, Hill Country. We skipped Gage. We just yeah. Hill Country. Yeah. You know, at Gage. We went, back. We, went, we went my route, but we added Georgetown. Yeah. I, I took Benico. Please forget. Anyway. At Gage, I got the promo yarn. Because it's such a good deal. It's such a good deal. And that's such a good color. Look at this What's color. that called? Uh, it's called Electric, Uptown Electric. And it Why is, do you think of Uptown Funk? Uptown Funk you up. It's, it's really, that's a great song, number one. It is. It's pretty catchy. Also, I was thinking Uptown Girl, but no. But yeah, and that doesn't quite capture it, but it's close. Um, Yeah, these are definitely way more mustardy. I like it. Are you gonna? How many of those did you get? You gonna make a shawl? Probably a pashmina, which is just a wrap. But I like the name. Pa- I like the word pashmina. It makes me feel like a fancy ass lady. See, that's all I want right now. I want to be a fancy ass cozy. Oh, lady. You can knit the elementary wrap with me. What is that? It's that thing. It's just like it's just like a rectangle of stockinette, or the European road trip. <laughs> Sorry, bros. You're snorting. Just a little. <laughs> Just a little. Okay. That was all I bought at Gage. I was holding back, but I did get three of them. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. And, and then, then I got the You can get a country. black sweater. If you want it. Continue. Yeah. Hurry. I'm ready. Oh, we went to Sated, and then we ended up going to Ply. You got some at Ply, didn't you? But why did you skip Sated? Because we, I didn't buy anything at Sated, did you? Yeah, what'd you buy? We went back the same Sated, day. The same day, so I was just going to say we went back. Did you not buy anything during Not that, that first time. Uh, not that day, not yet. Bought wine the first time. Oh, we did buy wine. We did buy wine. Because they had... I, yeah. It was, I went there because I had time off to, between jobs. So I went... And we were hanging out at Zayden because I had gone to mom's. Then we went to Zayden because mom was ignoring me because she was working. Mom was working. <laughs> mom was working. So I went out with Allison <laughs> and Carrie yeah. at Zayden. And they were like, what kind of wine do you want for the day you're rolling in? I was just like, well, you know, I'm open to anything. And I was like, they like, like, do you like fruity wines? I love fruity wines, so they put a rice wing on for the promo because they, they love stated they do a promo yarn and they a always promo have a wine. A promo wine. So and now some chocolate and tea yes. and coffee, yes. and they have sparkling water. So when you roll up, and they're all like, "You want anything to drink, boo boo?" And you're like, "Yes, I do. I've been on the road for a long time. I'm dusty as fuck. Exactly. I'm dusty. I need to fluff up. I need some. I need a beverage." And they got you. It's great. Love it. 
And then it's really cozy. Uh, There's like a bunch of seating. Aromatherapy is happening. Yeah, and super nice music. It depends on who's in the store. But like everyone has like their own. They you do, when you're in the store, like when you're um, you're hanging out. When you're not hanging out. When you're uh, depending out. on who's in the store, you get like a variety of music. But it's all really nice and chill. It's all of it's chill. It's great. It's all chill. But like sometimes you get like. Classical. Classical. Or you and get like kind of folksy blues. Yeah. Or sometimes you just get old, old songs. It's great. I'm a fan. I like, like old songs. I like them all. And then they aromatherapy. And then like they have comfy couches. And they have like a, it's like, it's not just like yarn. It's also like beautiful things. Yes. So they have like great notions. They have beautiful bags. They have the twig and, twig and horn. Yeah, they usually get the wool ones, but, but I think they sold out of the wool. Um, and they have bag bags. bags as well. They have yeah. cleaners. Yes. They have beautiful pouches and they also had those those they also had those lovely like scarves that send that when yeah. you purchase a scarf it sends I need it what are those called? They I don't know. like Allison let me know if you watch those. Yeah. But they send um kids girls to school when you purchase a scarf. Like it like the money goes to Yeah. They're like woven mm-hmm. in like India or something like that. It's beautiful. It, they're beautiful scarves. I really want. They always have like some type of initiative happening like that. Yeah. So it's great. Yeah, I'm a fan. Yeah, I hate it. Just like just hang, just hang out. Yeah. And anyway, great. So we went there. We went there. We bought some wine. We, bought we didn't wine. drink it immediately. No. Because we were driving. Yes. Then we drove to Ply. In Wamberley. Wamberley. I bought yarn because she already went the day before. I bought popcorn. See, it's like, I love this color. It's a grit. It's this is a tree. There is a promo yarn, which was sterling. Sterling. Yes, I bought it's it. Great. Too. It's very kind of chartreuse. This is not doing it quite justice. It's way more yellow. It's great. I'm making a cardigan. I don't know which cardigan yet, but I'm thinking buttons. You want buttons? Buttons. See, I have buttons on all these cardigans that I buy. Do I button them? No, I do. I need to be able to get out. Anyway, <laughs> so I bought, I bought four of these because the yardage is insane. Yeah, it's 525 yards per 100 grams, so, which would probably put in the light fingering, but I don't care. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's like wool and dark alpaca. Yeah. It's like a dark, like a dark like alpaca. It's like a brown alpaca. alpaca. I'm not 100% sure, but it's great. I can't great. remember. Beautiful. So the colors are like, the colors are like super and jewelly. Blue tone, jewel toned. Yeah, even though you said citrine. It is citrine. You said citrine, but when you're trying to, it's like very citrine. Pretty sure I didn't. Put your back and we're going to see. Anyway, <laughs> so then we went back to. We went back to. Sated 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 Sated. Because we were on our way home. Because we were on our way home, and that's the way we like to take. We prefer to take, even though there's a. It's a much better drive. It's a much better drive. It's not boring. I'm not looking at rock faces. This time we're looking at yeah. like fields and like beautiful windy roads. I like driving like that. That are super easier to drive than like straight lines. Straight lines. For some reason. I don't know. It's I, more picturesque. You just enjoy it more. It feels Texas. faster. It's the Texas Hill Country. Anyway, so we went back to Sated because they were having a trunk show. A Bull and Boone. A Bull and Boone. And they, they moved here recently. They're local to us They're now. local now. <laughs> Second time I've met them. So this is my first time meeting them. They're great. And they're, oh my god. So lovely. Lovely people. And their kids were, they brought their three children and they were so well behaved. I was so impressed because like, I'm, as a teacher, I, I'm, very, kids. I'm super judgy on how people, I don't like how kids behave in public. But these kids were like so well behaved. They're great. Like, so respectful. And I was just like, what? I'm so happy. Anyway. And they just, they're like, they just seem to they're s- just so suit Austin. They they're very Austin. They're very Austin. You would never know. They're very Austin. Anyway, so I bought, bought two of each of these. So They're this great. is Earthling. And Sonia helped you pick these out. Sonia did help me. She's like, this is what a customer did. And I was like, yes, this is me. I'm leaving now. Because we were there for like an hour with me slaving over this table. I was chatting. I had picked mine out. Briss had already picked hers out. I was like, had just hoarded them away already. I did. But yeah, so this is Earthling and this is Butterbeer. I think I'll talk about it and queue up. Yeah. I bought four skeins of Not Alike. This is beautiful. It's like, oh, are you going to make a cardigan or a sweater? Or I don't know. I, I think a pullover. I don't 
Or I dipped arms. That's what I was thinking. I'm thinking dipped arms because this is the main color. And I also bought two skates of Weirdo. Yes. Guys, look, I just love yellow. Much dirty, <laughs> gross yellow. She just loves the buky color. I, if it, doesn't, if it <laughs> hasn't been expelled from my mouth as vomit, I don't want it in my, in my, in my life. None of it. Which is why you also like those like weird whiny reds. I like wine reds. Um, <laughs> she threw them up. She's one of the ones like, ooh, that's a good color now. <laughs> Drunk Marissa is very honest about what she's doing. <laughs> she ain't afraid. She was like, I throw up, look at it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I, I came from that. my body. I wear that. My body made this. My body is artistic. It's crafty. <laughs> It knows how to make color. You see, I've never vomited you from think... alcohol. Oh. Only from illness. That's why I like neon. Have you at... talked about this another time? The one time I... No, the last time I vomited from illness. Like, it was like... Illness, the, um, you only vomited was from illness. That's Ill. right. That's right. The last time I vomited from illness, like, I was sick enough to actually vomit. Uh, it was like this real, real bright orange. That was me and pizza. Really? Yeah. That's disgusting. It's a good time. It's not great, but hey, I get the exactly. Yeah, it's that color. I get the job done. Mm, I was like, this is my color palette because my body made it. My body <laughs> understands me better. <laughs> it knows my limits. No, it, you don't know your limits. Your body. That's what I'm saying. My oh, body knows my limits. It. I think I'm limitless. <laughs> disgusting. I will not be denied. It's my not... body will deny me though. It's fine. I said, that's enough, ho. Calm down. <laughs> Body says, yeah, you're fine. You, mm-hmm. We're done with that. Mm-mm. It's good. It's all good. Amazing. Anyway, yeah. So that's what I'm debating on it, though, because I bought enough for a sweater and not a like. That's the main body. That's the main body. And then, weirdo, I put them to go with it. Yes. And then you get a skein of creep if you're going to do dipped arms. It's Miss Palmer's favorite song. It's a great song. Uh, okay. I should call her. <laughs> that was it for my first Saturday. That was, that it, was for it for Saturday. your first day. So we went home after that and we crashed. I was just, I I was tired anyways because ACL, I crashed. everything hurt. Oh yeah. Because it's hot. Hot? My feet were swollen. And so they got back the, late that night, too. It was, we got back at, like, 11. It was late. And I was, like, about ready to get dressed and come find us. I'm like, like, are they dead? Yeah. <laughs> we had to walk through so the worst part of the woods. <laughs> the worst part of the Zucker woods? Yeah. Where all the drug needles are? Probably. It's also, like, legit forest part where there's still animals. Oh, there's no dangerous animals in Zucker. There's only deer. In the middle of downtown. They're they hardcore deer. Animals. <laughs> They're street deer. It was like a straight up scene from Stranger Things. Alicia was like. Not just, me. Not, not her. She would be like. Peace. I'm going to take an Uber. <laughs> I wanted to live. They did. Barb deserved better BT dubs. Did I show you my new ID photo? Yeah, you look like Barb. I look like Ron Barb. Poor Barb. And so the kids like, you look like Barb. I was like, I deserve better. You interrupted my story. Sorry. (laughs) Walking through the scariest part of the woods. And like a legit dark road. Taxis are coming down this road. There's taxis. It's a blind corner. So we're like, Um, there's no sidewalk. There's a creepy cabin. They won't let us go down the other one. That's been lit. I was just like, it's because we're minorities, isn't it? (laughs) We gotta make our own path. <laughs> so here I am internally screaming. We're walking down. We left the last street light. And I'm just like. And then I hear a stick break. It's dark. Felicia's just like, what do you think that was? I was like, I She's don't know. She's a black belt. She's a black belt. That's why I wasn't, I wasn't scared of people. Just deer. Just street deer. deer. <laughs> this is terrifying. And I was just like, okay, keep walking. 
Keep walking. We, we are don't have walking. Alligators. That's okay. We don't have well, alligators. We're not even well. We're near springs, but that's the springs. It's clear. Anyway, I'm snakes. <laughs> not even worried about that. They're not gonna come at me in the dark. In the dark. I had boots on. <laughs> Rain. And I was just like, she's like, I think it's a deer. And she's like, I see it's head. I was like, run. <laughs> I was like, run. Run. And she's like, I think it's a buck. I was like, run faster. <laughs> she's oh, like, it won't, I was like, it won't attack us. She was like, it won't attack us. I was like, where you live though? It's a bull deer. <laughs> None of this. Bug. It's a bull. I think they're called bull deers. I, I think, call, I I think it's the actual species. I think it's a bull deer that we oh, have Oh, a here. mule deer. We don't have bull deers. <laughs> we have mule deers, honey. We have antlers. It was terrifying. Okay. Most of the I was just like, run! <laughs> she, I was yanking her along. Because she likes to... She, she wants to that. observe. She wants to, she's like, I think we're okay. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> Until you hit city street lights again, you're not okay. Exactly. And then we like... Get a group of people oh, yeah. coming up this way. We're like, where were you guys? They're like, we took the bus path. Like they told, they told us not to take, but we took it anyways. And I'm just like, what happens when you listen to people go the wrong way? So what did you learn? Don't let Alicia direct you anywhere. Don't. Also, follow the follow the path. <laughs> Stay on the path. <laughs> Anyway, so Sunday, 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 we hit Comfort in San Antonio. So that's five stores total. Yeah. yeah. Six, <laughs> six stores total. I was like, I don't think that's there right. There are two in Comfort and then four in San Antonio. I was about to say, Bloom Room is not a... It's, a, it's for weavers. It's for weavers exclusively. Pretty much. We get stamped and we leave. We go bye bye. We do have nice mugs and yarn bowls. <clears throat> so we got there. We we left at like seven in the morning. Seven in the morning. Got there at like eight thirty at breakfast, which is crazy. At high, great breakfast. Oh, so good. Oh my god. We do the it every year. The food there is so good. They actually feed you food. Oh, it's ridiculous. Real food. It's so crazy how good that was. Yeah, we had pancakes and what else did we eat? We ate things. It was great. Mm-hmm. I loved it. I'm a fan. Oh, ha- we had potatoes. <gasps> potatoes. And um, eggs. Scrambled yeah. eggs. Man. So good. And we had something different every time. Oh, it's good. We had lots so, of, I think we had lots of bagels. Left. I got lots of bagels last time with tomatoes instead of capers because I don't like capers. Anyway, so. But I like salt. At. So we went to Tinsmith, and then we went to Loom Room. Yep. So at Tinsmith, Smith, we took our customary, our annual picture with Wendy, which is a selfie, and we love those. We've you can taken check out my Instagram. Two years, or three years, three years running, I think at this point. Yeah, it's, about it. it's one of my favorite things. So we, we usually go on Saturday because we, we sh- because Friday we usually hit all of our Austin stores, but we didn't this year. So well, I did. You did, but again, we were playing catch up. We were playing catch up, so we went on Sunday, and everyone who'd been working yarn for all for a while was just like, "You're, you're worried, late. y'all weren't coming. You're late today. You're, <laughs> you're late. You're a day late." It's like, yes, it's my fault. I'm sorry. It's my fault. Anyway, what we bought there? I bought things. I didn't buy anything. I was just like wandering around looking at beautiful things and Dying. trying not to die because I am allergic to cats. They do have cats. Great store though. I am less affected by them. I love she loves cats. That's why she loves going. She wants to look at the cat. And I buy yarn there usually. Yeah. But like this time I was just like, oh, cats. She just really just wanted to follow the cat. I did. <laughs> that was really sad. Anyway, um, so I bought these two guys. Those are these are black, black trillium fibers. It's like um, black alchemy. And the little sock, which is um, merino mulberry silk. And I bought these colors last year, and I love because I love them. Mm-hmm. I love them this year. So that's bumblebee, which is another. Hey, let me borrow that from a fast. No, another, another color from her body. Yeah, 
So like I said, you can't really tell here. It's way more yellow. This camera doesn't like yellows. Anyway, and then black. So that's not a lot to write on. That, but the combo together is my favorite. I'll add pictures of that. Yep, that was, that was pretty much what we did. And then we went to the room. And then we stamped and go. Stamp, we hit it and went it. Poor kid who was working loom room. By oh my god, they let like a little teenage boy do it. He was so precious. He's just like, morning. Hey. Hey, Stamped us, gave us our buttons. He's like, bye. We went back up the loft. Got a bit of sleep. Got a bit of water. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so then we went to San Antonio. Yep. And we hit all four stores. We just roll. We went to Inskain first. Yes. And then I bought their promo yarn. <coughs> I'm going to need it in a minute. So their promo yarn was Summer Silk by Barocco, which is I've been wanting to try. So I was super stoked that there was their promotion yarn. I was so happy. It's a fun one. It's so soft and fuzzy. I'm very curious. Chain that construction. So I'm yeah. Curious. I'm very curious to see how it knits up. They had a pretty cute pattern in it, too, and you only needed two skeins. So I may actually attempt that. Because Summer is a thing. Because summer is a thing. This is nice and cool. Hand me that. I'm thirsty. I'm okay. parched. I didn't buy anything in this game. Cool. But yeah, after Inscane, we hit Yarnivore. Yes. I didn't oh, buy anything from Yarnivore. I Yarn did, and it's in this. Let's see, me go get it. Yeah, it's in my pink knitting Dude. bag on this side. Did you take it up already? Yeah, I kicked it up already. I was not expecting to get it. It's gorgeous. Anyway. What so is it? The pink knitting bag. Ah. Yeah. Anyway. So. I bought that. Isn't that pretty? This is Cashmere Silk and BFL. And this is Dream in Color. This is their, this is their club colorway so I think it's called pop-up 2017 exclusive color and they had quite a few of them and I saw it when we were at a sheep at the wheel but I didn't buy it because I was like oh, I don't need it I don't need it and then I saw it again at Yarnivore and I needed it in that moment and I've been knitting with it I started a wild a rewilding shawl by um Helen Stewart. Helen Stewart, and it's just been it's been feeding me recently. I haven't been able to put minute much on it, even though it's real simple. Because yeah. because I have, I'll show you, I'll show you. But I love this color, and so if you ever get an opportunity to get it, get it. Thank you for letting you the best. Our yarn winder does this weird thing where it leaves a crater and kind of more loftier yarn. It's a crater cake. That's not attractive. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> anyway, so that was from Yarnivore. And then after Yarnivore, we went to Unraveled. The store owner there, bless him. Oh my god, he is, he is too precious. Patient, Patient really knowledgeable, kind. great guy. Ugh. I think this is the first time we've interacted with him. No, I interact with him every year. Oh, do you? Okay, yeah. I was like, I think this is like my first time. Like, this is your time consciously interacting with him. I, he's great. He's great. He, he knows never, how to handle customer service inquiries and that kind of stuff. Yeah, he right. like they their customer service is really on point at that store. Yeah, I love it. Anyway, right. so I'm really into singles. Like, not as much as some people are, but, like, every once in a while when I see a good single, I buy it because I think it's beautiful. And I really love um, Hedgehog Fibers singles. They have a good base. They have a really good base. And it's, the nice thing is, is that it stays tight when you're knitting it because sometimes they fluff up and die a little, and die a little bit and get real. And you, they split easier. I don't like that. This stays tight. Anyway. <laughs> That's all we're going to do. So I bought two skeins of the anime colorway, which is a, one of their new colors. But I saw it, and I love it. It's so pretty. It's a great color. Yeah. And I'll show you some things, and I'll, I'm going to knit with it as soon as I can. Yep. 
Um, they, they had a really good trunk show with Moon Tower, which is an Austin local. I've never heard of her. Um, it's great. Look at this. Love that. She had a couple of different bases. They all had ranges in price, but it's cool. Um, this is the Triton Sock Weight, which is 75 Merino and then 25 Nylon 100 grams in this colorway called Cave Art. Which goes perfectly with your degree that you don't use. Yeah. Well, also, I think they found caves in Austin that actually have cave art, like authentic cave art. You should ask her. Yeah. But I love this color, and it's so... It's gray with, it's like... It's so pretty. It's maroon, gonna, it's purple, gonna speckled. It's going to gorgeous. And it's gonna as you gorgeous. can see here, there's another one of my fun speckle bits. Uh, that is definitely chartreuse orange. How many skeins do you really like? Two. You want to make a shawl? I don't know yet. I got you. I just want Marissa in it shawls with me all the time. But Marissa's dying. Poor Marissa. And then we went to Yarn Barn. Yarn Barn. And I got you got you they had a trunk show with Leon Alexander. That dude. Who we love. He is like the most precious bean ever. The best. The best. And his colors are so bright and electric and I love them. Ooh, I should cast on that Halloween stuff I got from last year. You should too. I should. You can watch Hocus Pocus and do that. Yes. Anyway, look at that. What is that? It's, what color is that? Ah, uh, Dragon's Gate. Perfect. Ah, uh, yes. You have two skeins. I got two skeins of this. Oh, you know that? Nope. Something in brioche. Oh my god. Pair it with something. Black. Probably. I like black. But look at that. It's so pretty. Pretty. I really like this color. They're great. Okay. Oh, it's also pink. Oh yeah, there's pink in there. And I got the house yarn, which is Barn Owl yarn. This is a promo yarn too. This was also their promo yarn. And it's so pretty. Like, I don't know. Can you see those? Yes. Yes, you can. It will see a good representation of the color. Yeah, it does. It's so pretty cool. This is called Jupiter. It's a good color. Yes. <laughs> All right, and then that was that, that was it. My yarn that itself. ended our yarn. We did itself. also hit up uh, your so crafty. We did hit your so crafty. Didn't end up purchasing anything. Their promotion yarn was La Jolla, La Jolla, Ba, Ba, which is lovely. It just knows what drew me. Yeah, I was like, no, that color is really interesting. I was also very very tired at that point. Yeah, I'm dead. It's in a real cute area. It is. Because it's, it's a game. It's a historical Sakine. Yeah, that's I don't know if there's anything else with that historical Sakine. I think all of Sakine is historic. I like how Knitting Cup is a historic Georgetown. It's really great. Oh, they're moving. That's right. They are moving to a house. To a house. More space. A bigger space. They need more space. They do. It's a great store. It's really good, but it's like real packed. Compact. It's very compact, yeah. So it's kind of They need to space to grow. Okay. Anyway, though. Anyway. So today was the last was is like the last weekend of yarn crawl, and we did go to Hill Country Weavers um, because you needed to get stuff for a test. Yeah, I have a test net coming up, and I have several. If you don't hear from me in a while, it's because I'm dead. <laughs> you do that. You just like to pile them on, and then you know it's rough for you. I like deadlines. I like challenges. I get a lot done with deadlines, yeah. Yeah, most of my knitting is deadline knitting. If I do it for myself, it never gets done. Nothing gets done. Anyway. Nothing ever gets done. Anyway, so I did buy two skeins of this, and this is, of course, Hedgehog Fibers and the new label. Look at that holographic. I love the label. It's so pretty and clean. Anyway, um, this is the hot colorway, and this is sock. It's a good one. Bought two skeins. That's all I have to say. I bought um, two skeins of this Mavintosh uh, DK and uh, the color Life on Mars. This is not cool. Well, that's better. That's pretty close. It has a little bit more yellow in it. That's Life on Mars. This is Life on Mars. That's pretty. It's like orange over dyed with black. Yeah. It's like yeah. purple orange over dyed with black. Yeah. It's great. It's, it's going to pretty. go into a cardigan. And then, yeah. And then, 
Uh, I also bought two of these guys, and this is the Merino DK from Hedgehog Fibers in Selfie Tales. Um, I bought this because the yarn I currently have for this test knit, um, I don't have quite enough, and just to be safe, this is the closest match I could get. That was nearby. Nearby, available, you know, that, all that jazz. Um, it's okay. gorgeous. Yeah. So I got two skeins of that. And that's it. That is my yarn crawl. That was my yarn crawl. I feel like we did really good there. I feel like... I feel like accomplished. Now, I got some sweater quantities, but you yeah. know what? Everything else was pretty chill. One, two skeins. No. We did pre-plan. What we were going to make... In terms of, like... In terms of, like, projects that we wanted to do. Failed epically. With what? The pre-planning? In a that aspect of, like, did I buy anything for these pre-plans? I no. did. I did. That's you. Do you want to go over the pre-plan list? I had two. Oh, I had, like, six. So now I don't care about the pre-plan list. Okay. You can just add them in there and be like, suggestion. Or, like, your suggestion for what the, how much yarn and project you're going to make with that. There you go. Oh, we're just doing the queue up because they're already queued up for me. All right, so do you want to go over queue up now? I don't have anything queued up except for my test net coming, and I should be getting that email today or tomorrow. So I have I have several things queued up. Yeah. Uh, for this, for the yarn that I got, um, some things are planned, but they're I haven't queued them up yet. But if you want to look at my queue, it's definitely on Ravelry under PS. I love wool. Oh, we forgot to do Ravelry. Yeah, so mine's P.S. I Love Wool. Mine's Social Slop. I'm the same everywhere on social media. I'm debating on changing mine. You should. To, to ATX. Match, to ATX Alice. It's easier. Everyone thinks my name is actually Alice. It's not. It's not. It's Alicia. But she doesn't even go by Alicia. I don't actually go by Alicia. Everyone calls her by my last name. Or Jimmy. Or Jimmy. Yeah, we don't know why Jimmy. No one knows why. Just Jimmy. You even started her. it. I did. Because that was like the quintessential name of every, you know, driver on the road for me. Sorry. <laughs> Just every driver on the road I mean, I've you. seen you drive. So, yeah. <laughs> I think everyone is awful at driving. Okay. Except for me. Okay. I'm very, I have a very narrow view of the world. FYI. I'm just dead inside now. Always. Anyway. So, I'll just, I guess, run through my queue up. All of them? There's only... There's not that many. There's, you don't need no, to describe there's, there's anything. I'm not going to describe them. You want me to just put it... No. No, let's just... let's just. If you want to see it... What's it called? It's just in your queue? It's in my queue. It's in your queue. Go look at there. Yeah. All the notes are there. You can get an idea. I believe in all of you and your imaginations. I will say that I want to do the Arbusto from the I new lane. I do like that. In the coffee and Tucson. You have enough for that? That was what I was asking you about last night on Instagram. Did you? Yeah, with the, like, I need 30 more yards. And you're all like, just take it out of sale. Oh, yeah. Check out my Instagram stories for any type of weird Which I think would be perfectly acceptable because I don't like that at night. I don't even like that much ribbing anyway. I love ribbing. Ooh. It's a crap sweater. You could take, like, a quarter inch off again. Anyway. So, um, uh, I... Don't really have a lot queued up because test it. I have a lot queued up because I dream about knitting things. Mm. Yeah, and then I when dream I, of winter. It's coming. It's, it's supposed coming. to be cold this week, and and into this next week. It's coming. Yep. Um, another thing on my queue that I'm using two skeins of this and two skeins of Blanca Cell Spicy Tuna Roll. Is um a I smell snow shawl by Melody Hoffman. I love those. I'm knitting one right now in wool and boom and um there it is. Are you so going through your queue? Not all of it. I'm just doing the highlights. Those right here. Oh wait, where's salmon? Over there. I'm not getting it. Yeah, I didn't want you to. Um real quick, this is gonna be in a drift shawl from the from the last the last issue of Lane. Yeah, it's beautiful. Skin. That's going to be gorgeous. And um, these two are going to be a Macklin stole by um, Suzanne Sommer. 
Oh, from that Stripes collection from Pom Pom. The, the one before oh, the, the, uh, the summer one. Oh. Summer one. Before the moon edition. And then this is going to be a Bark Lines by Hovey Locatelli. Yay. And that's it. Cool. Okay. I don't have plans for mine. Um, Marcia's just going to play as loose and fast with her stash. I will cake up everything and then, and then not knit nothing. Uh, I guess we could talk about what I have been knitting. Yeah. Oh, this one's crazy. This is what happens when you have too much time on your hands. I, again, I had time off between jobs. So I knit a sweater. And I about, love this. It took me about a week. A week. To do all this, and now I'm stuck on Sleeve Island, and I'm not ashamed of it. Cause... But you should finish it. Whoops. Did I just. Oh. I'm having a heart attack right now. No way. Anyway. anyway, she's just so st- nonchalant with her stitches, and I'm, I'm screaming. If it drops, I'll fix it. I fix yours all the time. Yeah, I know. But I anyway, every this time is the Lynn sweater. Was it by? by Claire Lakewood, I want to say. She's Lakewood um, on Instagram. I'll put her stuff here. This is a great sweater. She came out with and I immediately had to cast it on. So I bought it. And I was just like, did you, fit, did you make any mods? Oh, yeah. So her sweater, I don't know if I can insert her picture here. I'll try. We'll if figure not, it out. You can link. I believe in your skills. We'll link it in the show notes. She says it's as if she's going to do them. But then it's always like, Marissa, can you do them? No. I don't want to. Anyway. Rivalry's not link friendly. Do random stuff to it. It's not link friendly? It's not for me. Huh? Anyway. So. Look at it. As you can see, I've made some modifications. I made the neck a lot higher, so I cast on for two sizes smaller, so the neck would be up higher. I wanted it more of a sweatshirt type deal. Um, and then I just increased more times to get the correct stitch count after Before that. you started Before the... I started the color work and the short rows. Um, short row shaping. So it has a definite front and back. Um, and then I started the color work. What is the neck that's supposed to be like that? Why well, did you change the neckline? Oh, I also didn't do the twisted rib because... Marissa doesn't like twisted rib. I don't like it. And you're going to fold it over anyway. I, I think don't it care looks for that pretty. Look. I think it looks great. But I'm not about to do that if it's going to look even... I wanted this cozy. Remember, sweatshirt. So, I did regular ribbing and then folded it over, like I said, in the pattern. Just to raise it one by one. Yep. Was it provisional? Yeah. Okay. I'm just curious. Everyone makes it all seem so difficult. It's not. Well, some people do it where like, they like, they, they knit it and then they pick up and yeah. then they bind off. No. On the pattern shift, you do it provisional. But you just kept that. Then you knit it together. Yeah, I just kept that. I think that's so smart. All right. I think it's a great way to do it. Um, again, just increase down. And then, so I just had like two extra increase rows. Mm-hmm. Math is not hard on this one. It's really easy. Um, yeah, and then I did the color, I started the color work, and my colors are... You only did two colors instead of three. Was it three originally? No. No, it's four colors all in total. Oh, okay. So, main color is Gemini Twins by... Mad Tosh. Mad Tosh. These are Tosh Merino White. So it's a single ply. Single ply, so it's really fuzzy and fun and soft. The mohair light would be pretty. No. Um, also, the black is Dirty Panther, again. Tosh Marina Light. The coral color is Anemone by Hedgehog Fibers. This green color is Fly by Hedgehog Fibers. And again, these are both the singles. Um, and look at those fun little bobbles. bobbles right after your color. Did you change the bobble? I did. I changed the bobble. So she has you do like a legit bobble where you increase really fast and then decrease really fast. No, not about that life. Uh, also, they were too big and very kind of too 3D, I guess you could say. Um, so what I did was, it said I made dots. And I will add 
life aspect of it. Uh, if you have questions about it down, let me know. You I can add the it dots from the dot shawl. I edited the dots from the dot shawl by Casapinka. She has a great little dot that she she does a great little dot. Um, you could probably do noops as well. I think that might be the same. Again, noops or noops? I call them noops. Show me your noops. Anyway, I'm these are dots. Um, basically, I did a five stitch dot. I felt that they were nice and small. Um, still like gave you bells off of them. Why are you like little bells? elf bells? Uh, anyway, just jingle around. They're cute. They're wee. They're a little less big. Um, and then I just knit down. 13, I might rip back and knit down more because I feel like it's a little too cropped. Um, you could block it. I did a steam block on it. And it's, it fits. It's long enough, but I don't know if I want it longer. Also, I'm negating the um, short row shaping she has in the back because she has a definite um, curve to hers. And since I wanted it more sweatshirt, I decided to negate that. And then as you can see here, she also has you make a faux seam for basting later, so that's cool. Um, so that's Are you going to baste it? Yeah. It's going to give it structure. Mm. I'm about making things last. Put as much effort into it. It was only a couple of days. The longest part was legit the color work, and I finished that in two days. And then knit the body in one. Speedy. Then I added regular one-by-one one ribbing. Again, it's billowing out, so... I'm probably going to rip back and make some edits there. What bind off did you do? I bound it off. I did a normal bind off. <laughs> I was like, what bind off did you do, sister? Yeah. Sister. Next time I would do, um. Because it's like, it's a good bind off. You do a good bind off. Good bind -off. I know. I don't I know, know if you can tell because it's black. But I do a good bind off. I'll, I'll add pictures of it. She does a good bind off. And I have like, I don't know. I can do all the bind offs. Here's yeah. what I would do. Mm. I would definitely take it out yeah, and pick them all up ah. and um, knit down a couple more inches. That's what I thought. Um, and then the bind off that I would do, and it this is bad dying, it depends on you. Uh -huh. um, if you still want to do the one Is by it the one round? Rib, not round, but what the uh, yarn over and pattern? You can. I don't like that one. Oh, okay. I don't like that. I like it for shawls. It like makes it stretch. I like that knit two, uh, uh, knit but, two together one. Is that how people like the pattern work? One, yeah, the elastic bind off that Holy Hocatella uses in her patterns. I use that all the time. I thought that was the one where you do the, that's when I use in like the Pure Joy where it's I like a yarn over. E no, there's no yarn over. Like you're adding an extra stitch or something. Someone does that. I don't remember who. I no, you're like not adding done. an extra stitch. I feel like she's done it. Before. There's some that have a yarn over. Anyway, so that's my major big, big knit. And again, it's on sleeve island because I wasn't one hundred percent sure what I, what, I wanted, what I wanted to do with the body. Well, so. Are you gonna do full length sleeve? Yeah. Okay. Do you have enough? I found another skein. Oh, so you have three extra skeins. So I have five skeins total. Right now, I'm on my second or third ball. Oh yeah, take this out. Take knit it out. down. Take it out. Knit down. Like at least. Three or four more inches. I think another four inches. That way it's 18. I have a long torso. Yeah, I you do. Find a long mutant torso. I don't. I have tiny legs. I wear a petite pant. My inseam is tiny. You have short inseam. You're so small. Anyway, that's me, and I will show up. Not show up. I have a project page for that one. The designer actually commented on it. Yeah, and I think I'm going to rip out the sleeve, too, and do a dolman sleeve, kind of. I really should have increased more on the actual um, body. Raglan. Yeah, on the actual body, so that way the sleeves would have had a more bat-like shape. So I'm wondering if I could kind of do that retroactively or just increase slower or decrease slower on the sleeves now to kind of draw it out. But it's a relatively fitted sweater, so and I, I was afraid of it blooming too much. We'll see. I'll get back. Sleeve and sleeve and sleeve and sleeve. Why'd you put everything over there? Because I thought I could reach it. We test things before we do things. I did. I tested this. She's a liar, Jimmy. You're a liar. Well, you may get it. Yeah, please. I'll be back. Hold, please. 
have test notes come I have test notes that are ongoing and happening so they're in various parts of the house I am doing a half Melody Hoffman right now um, it's reversible it's super cute Sorry. Uh, you'll probably see that soon and then I'm doing a sweater for Rachel Bosch born and raised I'm doing that right now I met her too she was fun yeah but anyway so I'll show you various things that I've been working on. <coughs> Bless you. I knew it was coming. It's been coming for like 30 minutes. Now. What? Oh, oh your sneeze. sneeze. So this little scrap right here is going to be a sky map wrap. That's from the newest. That's from the newest pom pom. And I'm doing it. And <coughs> oh, that hurt. Are you done? I'm, I'm trying. I'm doing it in Mighty Mo uh, from Farmer's Daughter. I can't remember the colorway. It's beautiful. I feel like I have. Is it? No, it's not. I thought it was, is it spring fever? No. Or cold fever? No. no that one's yellow. I don't know. But it's, it's real pretty. It's hard to see the color because it's being knit up and it's stocking it. And that's pretty good. You know how it curls. But yeah, that's where it, that's what it is. So I'm knitting it up. You only need one ball? No, I have four skeins of this. Anyway, it's real easy, real relaxed. I haven't put much on it because life, because life happens. Okay. Let's see if I like the way you check. There is a purl stitch there, near the stitch marker. Okay. And then what I'm working on for Born and Raised is the Red Moon. Oh, okay, now I'm fine. Is the Red Moon. She gets so worried. I get so worried. Randomest things. There's the there's the red moon sweater, which is all over, and I'm a mess, but I'm almost done with the yoke, and it looks huge because it probably is. It is, but we're working on it, and it's a test, so I'm okay. This is why test knitting happens. This is why right. test knitting happens because you don't know until you've tested. You don't know how every size is gonna knit until you knit every size. Just saying. Um, but necks are strangely enough pretty difficult. Necks, necks, like necklines, because like everyone, I don't know. There's like every time I've knit a sweater. Or That's if test. you're trying to do like a And depending a on what you're if you're trying to do a wired neck, it's very easy to go too wide. As opposed to like not wide enough. Very rarely is it not wide enough. It's always too wide. I don't believe with you though, but you know. And your the sweater is that I have knit. There you go. That's what I said. That I have tested. The necks have always been real wide. But that's why they're being tested and that's why you figure things out. All right. Yes. So that's happening. And I am using, using Knox Yarn in the Mars base. And this is Beautiful Monster, which I love dearly. I have five skeins of this. And then this is very hard to capture. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. See that little corner right there of the light on Marissa's yeah. side? This is Voice Through the Veil by Teeny Button on her soft sock base, which is extremely similar to this base. Anyway, but yes, this is multicolored. It's just real dark, so it looks real cool knit up. I don't know if you'll be able to see it better in that. Can you hold this closer, please? Marissa. Alicia, I don't know what you want from me. look a mess. It looks a mess. Have you seen the inside of this? Don't look at the inside of that. My floats are a mess. She doesn't catch your floats. I refuse. 
See, this is the problem. They lose their stretch. I was reading. I don't I don't know what you want me to do about that. I want you to see if you can get the color. At least I can't. Fine, give it back to me. Anyway, you can't see the color yet. That's okay. You'll see it someday. Anyway, so that's happening. So that's one of the things I've been working on. Oh, you gave up on this? It's very fuzzy. <laughs> that's why I sneeze. Oh, is it? Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm working on things besides my sweater. You can't even see me. I can. Go ahead. This is my first brioche. Hey, you haven't worked on your sweater in a while. You interrupted me again. Sorry. Anyway, brioche. That's pretty much it. This is my first brioche project. I told her it wasn't hard. She's like, no, it looks hard. Was it hard? No. I don't care what you say. I have to make my own assessment. The lady says, that's not hard. It's not, because I'm lazy. You're a lot of things. <laughs> anyway. This is Dirty Chai, the orange is Dirty Chai. And then the blue is, can I buy that for you? No, I got it in Michigan. A year ago. I don't remember what it's called. I don't remember the dyer either. There was candy involved. Might have been candy. There was truck. candy involved. And there was like a candy truck label or something like that. Oh. I don't remember. I know what you're talking about though. Yeah. You should did you know that I have the label anywhere? No. Did you, you put it on your Ravelry page? No. You think I do that? No. I'm no. I think she's organized. No. Anyway. So it's based it's based off the Harlow by Andrew Mowry. Um but I didn't like how a bigger needle looked. Oh, so you went down. I just kept the same needle. I started with a two. Mm-hmm. And just What's kept two point one. It's two point five. No, it's a two. You're right, it's a two. Well, it's a two point five. Somewhere in the house. Oh. We have a basket. Anyway, so there's that. And then um Oh, yeah. There we go. Are you going to finish that song? Oh, I love this. This is my I Smell Shoe. I know that. You can't really tell. This is salty, too. I think this is salty, too. Construct, isn't it? I don't know. It's one of those. Wait, get the ball. You might be right. It might be Construct. I think it's Construct. There's not as many colors in it. I think it's Construct. Pretty sure it's construct. Um, I'm debating on ripping this out and making it looser. Oh, I got a bigger needle, you mean? Yeah. But again, not sure. Because you're almost on the first ball, right? Yeah. I like it. It's pretty. I don't know if I'm going to rip it out, though. So I hesitate to introduce you to it. But he's soft. He's my plane knitting. I've been on planes a lot recently. <sighs> I hate traveling. Anyway, so that's me, and then I have a half-finished object. You want to show it? Oh, sure. Are you sure you show them this? No, I was waiting on you. You can show them, and no, then I'll okay. show them my half-finished. Just show them your half-finished. I had to put, I had to put the counter row. This is a sock. It's a longer sock than usual for me. It's a striped sock, so I didn't really notice. Don't laugh at me. Didn't notice that it was growing. I was like, I should probably. That's a long sock for it's you. Long. Yeah. It's long. Oh, oh, you're so funny. So I have, yeah. This is PTA member. Mm-hmm. This is from Valkyrie. Fi- uh, striped is PTA member by Valkyrie Fibers. Um, and this is PTA member, which is based off of Welcome to Night Vale. Do you like that base? I love. I don't know what base this is. Mm-hmm. I don't know if she has more than one base. This is the base that she puts on her, puts her socks on. I don't know. Her remember. sock base. I don't remember. It did. It. I don't remember. They come. It came. Sh- it, it came. It came in a ball. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then it I. It was added, mine. Yeah. Then I took it because I'm a fan of the podcast. 
Welcome to Nightville. The Welcome to Nightville podcast. And I added this from my stash. This was part of a uh, sock kit from Cat's Kettle. Cat's Kettle. It's a Halloween sock kit. Sock club. There mm-hmm. we go. So, yeah, I thought it went really well. So there's that. And now I'm working on the second one. I did two by two vision, which is not normal for me, but it looks so cozy. That that would be a good thing to use two by two on. Isn't it for mom? No, it's for me. <laughs> Mom wants them. Mom loves them, and I'm just like, they're for me. I also added decreases in the actual um, legs, like because I cast on 72. I would have kept it at 72 and just had the whole thing as a cozy sock. No, I want it to. So I can wear it in my rain boots. I want it to cinch. I don't want it to cinch. It takes a lot. I just want slouches out of Anyway, so that's me. That's what I'm working on the other one. And then projects that are at Bell. You want to? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I just showed you my Red Moon sweater. So this is the rewilding shawl that I was talked about a little bit earlier. Um, with this going around. Hey, babe. Anyway, really easy, really basic. Yeah. I like how it's knitting up a lot. It's nice and therapeutic. I don't need to focus on it. So it's a lot of fun. So how are the increases set up? Cause they're yarn over. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, it's on a bias. And there's going to be some... Uh, pretty, I don't remember what they're called, like snow paws, I don't know, yarn overs that make through the hole, like a little flower or something like that, but at the end, it's real pretty, it's real basic, I think I might make it bigger, snow paws, snow paws, just so I use the whole skein, and I'm going to do some mighty tassels, mighty, I'm going to make big old tassels, or pom pom, I think pom pom. I like tassels. I think pom pom is what it is. Because this yarn is like pom pom. I think tassels. We'll Depends figure. on how much you have. We'll find out. Yeah, it depends on how much I have left. Anyway, so that's going on. And then. There's a lot going on. Yeah, you put a lot in there. I'm scared to go out, probably. Yeah, I'm scared. You did. In the middle of a row. I don't want to put flesh in there. Um, just show you. Just yeah, just hold it out. <laughs> Ow. Who's <laughs> like, please don't stop yourself. Anyway, so that is my find your fade. Um, by Andrew Mowry did the pattern. Andrew Mowry did the pattern. The yarn is very special to me. It's a custom because it's a custom thing I got from Julie. Hi, you and your needles. I'm need sorry. To play it the other way. It's so pretty. So this is one of four colors. Um, because I. I looked at the actual math, and you do not need seven colors to do a find your fade. Why do you need seven colors for anything? Don't ask me that. Seven to nine colors? You just really need 400 grams. So I asked for 400 grams that faded together, and Julie hooked it up so hard. It's a really good gradient. <sighs> makes sense. It makes perfect sense. It's a gradient. And it was so beautiful. Because I like, she's like, what colors do you want? And I was like, I sent her a photo of a bunch of um, lipstick kisses on paper. And she's like, I got you. And then a little while later, this rolled up on my doorstep and I was in love. Julia is so sweet. Julia is a sweet sparrow. Sweet sparrow. And it's love of my life. I love her. It makes everything great. I promise no one else is going to notice what you're doing here. And that's weird. Fine. Anyway, so the only mod that I did for this is that I took out the lace because I... We're not about that. I ain't, I ain't gonna do that. I also, tried doing it. It does not. It doesn't make sense to me. No. Like the way the lace is written, it does not make sense. And it's always wrong. And if it's wrong, I'm not gonna deal with it. So I just took it out. And I'm kind of mimicking Studio Me's. I'm just gonna use all the co- the all the color until it runs out. And then I'll fade it into the next color. You and your needle pointing. I'm sorry, but it's I'm gonna do worst. it. That's why. I, but I'm gonna do my fading on the on the wrong side, like Hohi Locatelli does. Like Hohi Locatelli does on the Jody. She does it on the Jody. She does it on the fading point. It's just a it's, and on that uh, that new that new fady one that she came out with. I can't remember, but she does it on the wrong side, which makes sense. Which makes sense because it diffuses the color. Anyway, yeah. So that's another thing that I've been working on. Everything that I do is shawls. And then, is this also in the middle of a row? Yeah, you don't. You're not. I'm not a good person. 
I'm sorry. I'm you gotta not. play the zip me again too, aren't you? These aren't sharp. These are carbons. I don't like carbons. I like them. You like everything. No, I don't. You like Ving. I do. I'm not a fan. Well, because I knit with Haya Haya's on the rig. Hi, Oogie. Hi, Oogie. He made it again. Anyway, let's anyway, focus. So, this is going to be an I Smell Snow. Again. Again. This is my second one. And I bought yarn for a third one. So, this is Woolen Boone's Commando in her singles base. And I'm going to pair it with um, Heritage Silk from Cascade in black. And that's it. It's on a US 6. That's it. <clears throat> what I'm casting on today or tomorrow? Uh, is this Shenanigans? So this is her cure. You good? I'm fine. I'm a puppy. I'm so excited for that. Yeah, this is the opening platter. It's a cardigan. I'm very excited. This is my main color. And then this is my contrast color. And then, in case I run out of this color, Healthy Tales, which is a really... It's pretty close. It's pretty close. And I'm just going to fade it in when I start running out. On the wrong side? I don't know yet. I don't care. It's... I bet you it's in the round somewhere. On the sleeves. Watch it be the sleeves. It's always the sleeves I run out. Or something. But yeah, that's it. Yeah. So... That's it for just for acquisitions and uh, what we plan on knitting, what we're actually knitting, and yep. Anything else? I read books. I've read books too. I read Annihilation. Who's that by? Jeff Vandermeer. Is it good? Yeah. Marissa likes it. It's one of the only first person viewpoints that I've actually appreciated and liked, which is rare. Ugo is licking her hand. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. That's, thing. That's pretty much it. It was yeah. great. The first one's great. I'm reading the second one right now. You're having a hard time with it? Yeah. I don't know why. We'll get there. We'll get through it. And then I'm also reading um, Radical Candor, which is a good one. What's that one? That's um, by this one lady who used to work at Google. And she's come up with an interesting management system or management philosophy um where you're brute like honest with your people and that kind of stuff. it's really interesting it's very you yeah i'm already very honest about stuff especially at work yeah exactly. but you 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 kind of were raised in that idea yeah this is like why are you lying to somebody don't put it beat around the bush and that kind of stuff. it's great yeah um but yeah that's what's happening mm -hmm. uh I'm reading Elegance of a Hedgehog. How's that? I actually like it. I do not. It's done. It's split off into two points of view. Yeah, it's the little girl and then the um and then the, the man, the doorman, door woman, door woman. Yeah, the concierge or whatnot. She's the concierge is great. Mm -hmm. I love her. She goes into beautiful detail and stuff. The little girl Paloma. She's a little girl. She's a little girl. She's twelve. I mean. She's like, I'm going to have one thought-provoking idea every day, and I'm going to write it down. I was like, kill yourself. Because um, I hate stuff like that. Like, the actual thoughts are very provocative and stuff, and it's very interesting. Um, but I just want to get back to that old lady. Her fat cat. I mean, we have fat Ugo. There's this beautiful piece of imagery, though, in there, when she talks about, like, one of the people, um, one of the families that live in the apartments. And mm -hmm. their son has been addicted to drugs and he comes home after a long stint away mm -hmm. and his father comes out and like basically the son like falls or collapses and then the father just picks him up and she's like, I've never seen anything as sad as that. And I was like, oh, that's beautiful. I love tragic things like that. And then the father dies later in the story. It's great. Okay. Spoilers. Yeah, I love like, it's really not about like, it's more about her observations. Spoilers. Very much what I like. Anyway, I think that's it. Well, we're in book news. Can we talk about this? Maggie Sheep probably releasing the new. It's about to, like, I don't know. Yeah. It's gearing up for um, the Dreamer cycle? 
that what it's going to be called? I don't actually know. It's going to be a continuation. It's the Ronin series is what she's yeah. basically calling it on yeah, social media. So I don't know what its official name is going to be, but apparently she finished writing the first one. I think it's the first one or the whole thing. So. And our boys are coming back. So that'll be fun. Yeah, and then V.E. Schwab, who did A Dark Shade of Magic. Is V.E. I thought it was V.B. It's V.E. V.E. I'm looking at it as V.E. Okay, good. Schwab, who did A Dark Shade of Magic series. Um, that is done, but she's doing a prequel series, and it's going to be a graphic novel. Hmm. And it's I think it's releasing either this month or next month. Um, and I think it's called The Iron Prince, which is... It, you're familiar with the series. It's nope. Rye and Kel's dad. Uh, when before he became king and shit, and he was like, "You haven't even finished the last book." I can't. <laughs> it, um, it hurts me emotionally. I'm, I'm like three hours away from finishing it. All right then. But yeah, so there's that, and then you want to talk about. You did start a new job. I did. I started a new job, so that's cool. Um, basically, I'm working at a another advertising firm. This one's a agency. I don't know if my other one called themselves an agency. You do need to update your LinkedIn profile. I'm not doing that until after my 90. Okay. I don't, I'd never update anything until after 90 days. That's just how it works. This is also how she updates her Ravelry page after it's been complete for 90 days. <laughs> That's pretty much true, actually. I'm like, oh, I, I finished this. Do we I, have any? Fi- we have a lot of finished objects. We're not going to show you I those. don't. I have one in that hole over there. It's a hole? Oh, that's an object. I was like, whoa. <laughs> so we did. Yeah, that's right. I only have that, and then I have a Vertices Unite. I don't know if I actually have that up on Instagram. Not Instagram. Ravelry. Ravelry. Now, I have apparently a lot of finished objects. I'm not going to show them to you. We're not doing that. That's a lot. That's just, that's no. a lot of backlog. I'm to go find them. They're in my house. But, oh, we moved. We, we did move. We did move. So everything's we moved in February. February. Yeah, we moved in February. We haven't recorded those since like October last year. Something like that. Yeah, but we moved in February and then... We're still finding everything. Like we had to go find. In other them. words, we haven't really unpacked. We had we had to go find the mic today. It's crazy. Other than that, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I always forget how we end these things. Yeah, I know. We're working on rebranding, so we may not go by the same name, which is why we don't have a titled podcast. It's a podcast now. It's just called podcast. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, You gonna see a height? Just because I think bookends is kind of bookends knits is very limiting, and because you have to talk about knitting all the time. Yeah. I feel like I want to talk about more things. I do. Yeah. But yeah, I mean. So if you think of something clever, yeah, like a clever name, put in there. Maybe we'll send out a little prize or something. Ooh, that'd be fun. Right. I have a lot of things. And if you have anything that you would like to hear. Yeah. If you have any like content you want to hear. Or any content. Yeah. Any content or anything from that. Uh, We're always curious. I'm, yeah. I want to know what you guys are thinking. We are going to try and steer away from um, political. It's just it's just too much of a hot topic. I'm not about it right now. Yeah. I, I did register to vote. You did. I've been registered to vote. I think you have to re-register, though. Uh, it's only... Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so you need to check and make sure you're still valid. But I registered to vote for this year. Primaries are coming up yeah. November. Or, like, in-state things. Just just tell me when to go. Yeah, and go. I don't know when I'm supposed to go to those. So it's very exciting. Um, but, yeah, we're going to still <laughs> steer pretty much away from politics. Um... Some things are just going to need to be addressed, but that's a different thing. You want to hear about knitting trends that we've been noticing, uh, things that we like and don't like. We're going to try and be positive. Try. But we're people, and we have our certain preferences. So, if anything you'd like to hear about. Or our opinion on. Or our opinions on. That's fun. Yeah. And even if we don't address it in the podcast, if you want to send us like a... 
a private message that's cool too. Yeah, we usually answer those. The best way to send us a private message, DM us on Instagram. Yeah. Under bookends, which the name will probably be changing soon. Yeah, either bookends or if you want to hear specifically from us, go to our Instagram and just DM. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah. We know we've taken up a long time. So, uh, take it, take, get your beverage, take it in, take it in parts. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of content, but we didn't actually show you that much knitting. No, it was a lot of talking. It's just talking. A lot of talking. And we do prattle. That's right. Marissa hates it. Alicia pros? I prattle. Just go away. Yeah. It's far, far away. In the woods. Anyway. Well, because I have to be so focused at work. I don't get to talk to people. Oh, go. Uh, oh, go. You could just see his little face. You could right see his little nosy. Yeah. Anyway, thanks guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.